Uh, I feel that the United States uh, has tremendous wealth. The wealth is under its feet. I've made that wealth come alive. We will soon be one of the — we will soon be exporting. In fact, we're actually doing it now, exporting. But we are now the number one energy producer in the world, and soon it will be by far, with a couple of pipelines that have not been able to get approved for many, many years. It'll have a huge impact. It's tremendous wealth, and LNG is being sought after all over Europe and all over the world, and we have more of it than anybody else. And I'm not going to lose that wealth. I'm not going to lose it on, on dreams, on windmills, which, frankly, aren't working too well. I'm not going to lose it. So, Josh, in a, in a nutshell, I want the cleanest water on Earth. I want the cleanest air on Earth. And that's what we're doing. And I'm an environmentalist. You, a lot of people don't understand that. I have done more environmental impact statements, probably, than anybody that's, I guess, I can say definitely, because I've done many, many, many of them, more than anybody that's ever been president or vice president or anything even close to president. And I think I know more about the environment than most people. I want clean air. I want clean water. I want a wealthy country. I want a, a spectacular country with jobs, with pensions, with so many things. And that's what we're getting. So I want to be very careful. At the same time, at the same time, at the same time, you weren't called. At the same time, it's very important to me, very important to me, we have to maintain this incredible, this incredible place that we've all built.